my style of food ultimately is food I just want to eat. It's the food I love to cook, it's the food I want to eat and above all it has to be flavour driven. All about the ingredient and it just has to taste absolutely stunning and nothing on the plate is ever there for decoration. Everything is there for a reason and if you're going to put it on the plate it has to taste amazing because if it doesn't then what's, what's the point of it being there? Paul's style of food is very, very produce-led. I mean, it's not technique over quality, do you know what I mean? Um, we let a lot of produce do the talking. That's taken a long time to hone that style, um, but it's something we work very, very hard on to, to achieve. The way I look at it, if you're gonna make the most amazing dish, then the raw material has to be incredible to start with. It'd be like a carpenter making a beautiful cabinet with really, really poor timbers and poor materials. The end product's not going to be very good and it's no different in our game. Now living here in Cornwall, I'm extremely lucky that we have this incredible larder, this incredible bounty of ingredients and my aim is to show you that when you come to Cornwall that this is what we've got here. Paul's passion for, for local produce is, is brilliant and he sees me walking through the street, I might not even be going to his restaurant and I might be carrying a bunch of baby leeks that he hasn't got on his menu and he would sort of stop me and say, Ross, you know, when can I get these in and, uh, and then I'll take them into his restaurant the next day. He'll ask me, what should he be using this year? Which is a great question for a chef to ask. A chef shouldn't be telling the grower exactly what they want, they should be saying, what's best right now? What are you going to be growing that other people won't have? this year and kind of come up with a dish around that ingredient. Uh, we'll make the most of these, we'll do these as a side order. Yeah. Just yeah, they... simply cooked, maybe some lovely English truffle over the top and just celebrating those carrots. Yeah. Yeah, get some, let's, well, yeah, let's get some these. to Chris, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I'll wash them, wash them first. <laughs> It's really important for Paul to use the local produce because if something's grown out here in a real natural in environment, it will taste better. Something that's grown under a massive controlled environment, um, something that's never struggled to grow, will not taste as good as something that has struggled slightly. And so um, the fact that it's dug up here in the morning, driven one mile into his restaurant the, the same day, the ingredient basically will speak for itself. What I love about Ross is the same the same drive behind being a chef he's put into growing vegetables, flowers, herbs, everything and he's ultimately given us something in Padstow that we never had. We are, if you like, the middle part of the whole sort of chain of it and it all starts with, you know, the farmer, the person that is producing this amazing product. I'm trying to get the best ingredients I can get my hands on, get the most flavour from them and blow your mind. I'm a big believer that you must always find inspiration, you must always surround yourself with people, not just being inspired by walking on a farm or, you know, going to see some oysters or some fish or some meat. You should be inspired everywhere and I take huge inspiration from people and not necessarily chefs, from football managers to, to sort of incredible businessmen. I enjoy being inspired, I feel that I'm sort of constantly thirsty for inspiration every single day, looking at every, every sort of angle to get it. It's all about food and I think if you love food, you love food. And if it's good, then all food is, for me, the best. <laughs>